People go to hospitals when they're, when they're most vulnerable and most in need. It's extremely important that a, that a hospital is somewhere where, where people are safe. And that means that all the systems have to be uh, functional after an earthquake. It's not just about the structure, it, you know, it's about the mechanical, the electrical, plumbing systems, everything, the person on the ventilator, that ventilator needs to be running before, during and after. So, so as a designer, it's extremely fulfilling to work on projects like that because you, you fundamentally you know you're making a real difference to, to people's lives. Loma Linda University Medical Center has a, a significant responsibility to the local region and the, known as the Inland Empire because of the potential for such a catastrophic earthquake. So the engineering of this building has been designed in such a manner that it will be up and operational under what might be considered to be the most catastrophic earthquake that we've ever seen. What that means is the ground, fundamentally in an earthquake, the ground moves back and forth um, by, by you know, significant numbers of, numbers of feet. And, and the question for structural designers is how do you solve that problem? In recent years, there is a technique um, known as base isolation. You could ask yourself the question, what would it mean to decouple the building from the ground so that when the ground shakes back and forth by significant numbers of feet, can the building stay where it is stationary while the ground moves back and forth? Loma Linda University Hospital has uh, 126 friction pendulum isolators, which are a, a type of bearing that allows the ground to glide beneath the building without uh, transmitting as much force into the building um, as would otherwise be there if, if the building was uh, rigid. The building structure was designed to be able to move approximately four feet in any given direction. That, that's great, but there's a question you need to then solve. How does one get out, in and out of the building um, over a surface that is capable of accommodating that, that relative displacement? So you have a sort of a moat around the building, as we would call it, but you need to cover that moat with something that's capable of recovering from that, from that event where the ground moves 42 inches and the, and the building stays stationary. Um, and that's really where the products from, um, from CS um, would, would come into play. They are able to design and provide these uh, seismic joint covers, in this case these very large moat covers all around the building that provide a walking surface up to the face of the building, but in the event of an earthquake the building is able to move and these covers are able to pop out and, and allow that movement to occur, occur and then when the building returns to its uh, central position after the earthquake they can be restored to the earlier condition. To complicate things even more, it, it, we had two buildings that acted independently of each other, and so we had massive expansion joints that occurred between the, the higher tower, which they call the adult tower, and the children's tower, which is the lower tower. So, you know, it's a very complicated project, and through maybe about a three or four year effort of engineering, we developed all the expansion joints necessary to be able to meet the, the code requirements and the very, very rigid expectations of the regulatory agencies that basically approve and hold all the jurisdictional rights over the management of a hospital. Because the, the business of understanding the impact of earthquakes is an evolving process, we continue to have new challenges every single day. And every time I, I think that we've kind of hit the end and there's absolutely nothing left that can be challenging, then tomorrow shows up and we have a new set of challenges and a new set of responsibilities and it kind of continues to evolve and it's, uh, it's great because you know I've got a great partner in construction specialties and being able to sort out all those solutions and the design community has come to expect that from us.